Hello and welcome to the far off year of 1995. This is <laughs> the far future of uh, combat racing. Um, this is a uh, ballistic NG. I bought this on a whim. Uh, actually, my friend uh, Peter, if you watched the uh, Wildermyth series, you uh, you know them, uh, friend of the channel. Uh, decided they yeah we we, want, we wanted to play a racing game, and so I did. Hello, is my controller? Oh, it is. Okay, there we go. Uh, we wanted to play a racing game, and this one looked interesting. It lo it's like one of the highest rating rated games in like Combat Racer. Um, 15 points to unlock the next event. Let's just go to. We're gonna. Whoa. Uh, where? where how, okay, Anti Gravity League. These are expansions. Um, I really just want to do the campaign. Practice tutorial. Do I have to do the practice tutorial? All right, I guess I'm doing the practice tutorial. That's fine. I'm sure it'll be quick. Um, this is this game's great. We we play put a, quite a, a little bit of time into it, and enjoyed it a lot, a lot more than I thought I was going to. Uh, if you've played any any of the kind of like combat racers on the PS1, and apparently also on the uh, N64, I think you'll have a lot of fun with this. But this is pretty much exactly what you what you would hope it would be it's a very slick very futurist um but also fairly low fidelity combat racer um it's challenging it's really good it's got a lot of chops to it i love the look of it i love the um oh that's an ability i haven't seen before uh i love the 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 way the kind of the ships move around like the actual momentum of it um the look of this is like perfect i could not ask for better uh it's got this very kind of retro look retro now it, it feels weird saying retro when this is the kind of game i grew up on um but i guess it is retro um but yeah this it's a it's a combat racer there's a lot of tracks we'll look at quite a few tracks if uh if we've got time i want to make this video fairly short but um, I, I'm just gonna like heartily recommend this game. It is fantastic. It's got speed. It's uh, got skill. There's a little bit of a learning curve. Not too much though. It's it, I think it's fairly accessible to, to newcomers to the genre. If you want to call this a genre, um, I really appreciate how the devs are approaching this. Um, I think they, they, they kind of stopped short on their Steam page of saying like, we know we, we know this game is very much like these other games. Um, and we just want more of that. We want more Wipeout. We want more like Jet Moto. Um, this game has more than just the Wipeout uh, influence, but I, let's be real. This is, the, this is a Wipeout sequel. Um, there's probably a few things that are different but it, it just like it felt to me like wow i'm i'm way i'm like right back back in uh, my like pre-teens playing uh, some weird rented game and and i'm just as bad at it as i am uh, at as i was then so is this just, just a tutorial are we is there laps i don't seem to have laps right now okay hold on Let's, I want to do an actual campaign here. That that part I really want to play. Campaign. Um, I'm just going to hit... Okay, there we go. Introduction race. This is my favorite uh, um, cart so far. I don't know what you want to call it. Cart, ship, whatever it is. Um, it's got decent acceleration. Uh, its top speed is pretty piss poor, but it handles well. And it also doesn't sacrifice firepower. There's a lot of ships. Uh, and they all have different playstyles. A lot of them sacrifice having no weapons for like amazing acceleration, top speed, and stuff like that. But I like to have a little bit of uh, a little bit of firepower. But I also really like having better handling. So this is a uh, so far the best ship I've found for my playstyle. All right, we got the there is a start gate acceleration. If you can hit it like right before go or right on go, I've not been able to figure out which one. Uh, I haven't really talked about the mechanics, but honestly, it's really if you've played wipeout it is it is that 
um you can get some get yourself some power-ups there's no speed boost power-up as, as far as i can tell um the main ones are like mines rockets uh gatling gun and then the green power-ups will be things like shield and then um oh someone shot at me interesting uh you know there'll be a uh uh what do you call it auto drive autopilot that gets you to your destination it'll basically like bank turns on a dime so you that's kind of your boost honestly there's no like speed boost like power up there is however a built-in speed boost so like if i hit my shoulder button you'll see uh, i get like a sizable speed boost but doing so has kind of an f0 x or f0 effect where um you are basically spending your health so if you do it too much and sacrifice too much of your health then you um, leave yourself open or prone to get, destroying yourself basically and if you destroy yourself then you're going to be out of the race for like a, a, a few seconds but those seconds are going to be critical they're they're gonna buy your opponent's time to zoop past you that being said i suppose if you are good enough and you have enough lead then you should be able to uh salvage things i've salvaged things dying is not not the end of the game for sure oh there's a, a ways of pitching your cart up or down by the way uh in almost an f-zero style although i don't know if you could do that in wipeout i'm gonna go ahead and boost a little bit here just to widen the margin there's a pit the pit um you have like a set speed in the pit so you do sacrifice a little bit of your lead however uh if you are in need of more energy uh, aka health aka boost then jumping into the pit is uh advisable here's the autopilot i basically can take my hand like off the controller here that also protects you from certain things there's very few catch-up mechanics but there is um uh, something called a ripple i can't remember oh, um sorry i should know this better tremor it's a tremor it broke into the wrong goddamn rec room yeah, um, which will basically ripple the entire track and damage and slow down everyone. So something like an autopilot pilot will actually protect you from that, as will a shield. Um, so, you know, uh, it's good to keep keep on those things. I actually, one thing I really like to do when I've, like, gained my lead is to just, like, hit as many power-ups as possible, dumping any aggressive ones, like, like this one, for instance. What does this one do? Oh, that's a... I guess there's a blue shell. Uh, he used the shield, though. There's the cannons. Oh. What did he do? He did something. I just kind of want to destroy... You can destroy opponents in the same way that you can be destroyed. I was going to try and do that, but I don't think it's necessarily worth it. I think just driving well is better. But yeah, uh, if you hit circle... I'm using a PS4 controller. You can dump power-ups and it's faster than using like for instance if you pick up auto cannons you can actually use auto cannons for quite a long time so dumping them is much faster and then i just like uh hoard any any power up like auto the uh autopilot or the shield i'm using the d-pad surprisingly um i i don't mind the analog stick but i actually find it the d-pad gives me a bit finer control i like to just kind of tap um, the movement, so I, I get a little bit more granular movement. It also seems to work well. I, I know I'm, like, bumping the sides, but I feel like I'm doing pretty okay. Maybe when I get to, uh, the later stages, this will not work for me as much. Auto, uh, also, like, overcorrecting is a thing. You can, like, once you've made a turn, you could, you keep a little bit of turn momentum, so you might want to actually, like, hit hit the other direction just to correct yourself there is also drifting i actually find every time i try and drift i do horribly i'm sure drifting drifting is like some advanced stuff let me show off drifting a little bit um so it oh god yeah it's it's just kind of i i'm just really bad at it but uh it might be that you don't even need to really turn as much as like drift but it's it's like you can make a really sharp turn if you know what you're doing with drifting i don't know what i'm doing and so i stay away from it um 
I should probably learn how to do it, but I, I just like uh, learning how to make these turns with the like normal controls, and that's probably why I also like a ship with more ha uh, better ha handling. So what's going on with this? This seems to be not a race, but like a time trial. As I say, you can pitch your ship. You might have noticed that when I make a big jump, uh, if I hit the ground, I'll like scrape the ground. You can actually pitch up your ship. And if you do it at just the right time, you will uh, make that landing a lot softer and then keep your momentum a bit better. I'll try and do that before. Well, never mind the race. That, that is over. Silver? No, 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 no. We do not accept silvers here. Two, one. Go! That was not it. If I mess up my my uh, intro acceleration, then I'll hit the, the the boost a little bit just to make sure we get that momentum. Oof! This is a different ship, it seems, than the one I'm used to. This is this also feels a lot faster than I'm used to. But well, we're making it. We're going. Final lap. Once you like really get into the flow of this game, it really does have a flow and it feels great. I, I like when I actually kind of get into the Zen of like uh, figuring out the tracks and, and like making my turns, it, it's it feels so good in this game. It's one of the this is honestly one of the best like racers I've played in a long time. Event complete. Gold? Gold medal. Nice. Awarded. We accept nothing less in this house. Leveled up. I wonder what leveling up does. I'll do a couple more. Are these more time trials? Nope. Two. One. Go. Oh, still didn't get it. I haven't yet uh, perfected, like, I can't consistently get that acceleration just yet. Oh. I saw that. The writing on the wall on that one. The enemy also, yeah, I was going to say, can shoot you. So uh, it's not necessarily a great idea to boost past them all. But if you can get a like a wide enough uh, like lead, then it really doesn't matter. Ooh. One thing I would like, I don't know if this is a thing, but I would like to be able to shoot backwards. You can, oh, you can shoot backwards. Or at least I can with the missile. I don't know if I was... I pressed the wrong button, unfortunately. I get into this unfortunate habit of like dumping every power until I get the one I want. Um, so I, it, it then puts me in a habit of like accidentally dumping the ones I want. Doesn't look like I can shoot backwards with the auto cannons. Can we shoot? Yeah. Oh no, you can't. If I hit the wall a little bit too hard, I'm going to die. So I'm actually going to let go of the accelerator for just a moment. Okay, can't shoot. Oh, I missed the pit. I missed the pit. Oh, and this we still have one more lap. I could, I, that might lose me the game here. Just got to be real careful. This is a, fortunately a very forgiving track. So there's not too much I have to worry about. But if I take one more hit... Ooh, one more nasty hit, then um, that'll be the end of me. Ooh, that, and they're also shooting at me. If I take one of those, I'll definitely die. But yeah, oh, oh god, I, I really like this game. I like, I generally don't jump on racers, but like. Oh, occasionally I also get the kind of like uh, desire to play one. Um, I played a lot of Wreckfest, but that's more of like a, a kind of like a car sim uh, style racer. This one I think is like, it, it's just really good. I honestly can't, I can't sing the praises enough of this game. It, I kind of fell in love with it instantly. It feels so good. And it really does like, there's even a PS1 mode uh, I'll maybe I'll show it off. Maybe I can do it now actually. Yeah, okay. Hold on uh, config graphics Effects, there's lots. There's actually quite a lot of options here 
Um, weather, normal, high. I was wondering if maybe... Okay, retro. Hold on, I see it. Uh, retro. Retro vertices on. Let's just turn it all on. Uh, um, apologies to those who are going to find this hard to look at, but I'm not going to keep it on for too long. But I just love that this is an option. Okay, so you might notice a few difference now. Um, honestly, I think that they were pretty conservative with it. Uh, you can see the shadows are a little bit more uh, pixelated. Uh, I, it's still got anti-aliasing. Honestly, I feel like if you really want the authentic PS1 look, you got to drop the anti-aliasing completely effects. Uh, turn FXA -A off. Where is uh, ship effects? Reflection, nah, shield mode down, ship dust normal. Oh, what is this? Oh, normal. Engaging reflections. I just want to, I want to, I guess it would be FXAA. anti -ali Define, okay, yeah, so we would turn that off. I'm just trying to get the authentic PS1 uh, look. It's going to, it's not exactly easy to do. Oh yeah, this game also has VR. I should really, I should try in VR. Um, it still looks pretty anti-aliased, I'm not gonna lie. But it's still like, you know, it's got a retro mode. I think you, you can tell the, the lighting and the shadows are, are they don't have a kind of um, smoothing. There's no smoothing effect. So they're, they're all like just big chunks of lighting and chunks of shadow. Um, so it, it does, it, it feels pretty authentic. It feels like crappy enough. Uh, I almost wish there was like a, like make it really on anti-aliased mode to get that authentic. Like, yeah, I'm playing this on like a PS1. Uh, I tried to pitch up there, but it didn't work too well. You can also pitch down your ship. I'm not sure why you would want to do that. Yeah, I mean, that even slows you down. So I'm not sure why you would do that. Maybe if you want to like go, you know, down faster. These are the first few tracks. I played a lot of uh, this game with my friend Peter uh, and didn't really actually play much of the campaign. So this is my first experience with a campaign. Uh, and it looks like there's actually quite a bit of like mission variety. It's not just races. There's also like little missions and stuff. This is a different, uh, this is one of those ships that has no firepower, but has like turning on a dime handling and also like max acceleration, max speed. So uh, I'm going to be driving absolutely horribly with this thing. We turned black and white mode off. It, it does, like if you're really careful on the turns, this thing really does turn on a dime. It'll actually let you know if you did a track perfectly, like you didn't hit any walls. Which, you know, I, I've only heard that once. Interesting, the, the track and design is like... Oh, I recognize this track. Okay, so this is like a weird synthwave version of the one of the first tracks I played. Oh, uh, this, this... Yeah, I really like this game. It's got this really great feeling of speed but like once you actually get into the mold you can you can it just feels so good making those curves you feel like you're you know king shit oh sub halberd okay i'm not sure i'm not sure what this what what i'm i'm um, trying to achieve on this track but I am going. I'm going as, as fast as I can. Whoa, that was bad. Gotta be really careful with this ship. I think I'm just trying to make as many laps as possible in the time trial, maybe? Ooh. This is when I would maybe try and learn how to drift, but it's really difficult. I also don't have any boost. Ooh, 
Ouch. It's becoming very difficult to navigate this track because it's just so fast. Ow. I think I'm doing all right. I sub Zen. Okay. What am I trying to achieve though? I, I do seem to be losing energy. Maybe I'm just supposed to survive. Zen. Okay. We're on Zen. Ooh, that was, that was painful. Okay. Are we trying to get to zone 35? Oh. Yeah, if I had, if I learned drifting a little bit better, I'd be able to make some of those turns. I am trying a little bit of drifting now. It's not really drifting. It's it's more like hand braking. Okay, I am making those turns better now that I'm like tapping the drift. Oh god, spoke too soon. Oh, I spoke way too soon. Oh my god. Oh god. Uh, uh. We're at 39 Hyper Zen. what are we trying to do? Awards I feel like we are just trying to survive Ooh Ain't, ain't no making some of these turns I am getting a little bit better with the drifting though Just a little bit Oh god, it's so fast Oh my god Woo What are we on now? What are we on now? Oh, oh, okay. We finally died. Simulation concluded. Initiating results procedure. Platinum. Medal awarded. platinum. I didn't even know platinum was a thing. Rank two. I don't know what the ranks mean. You're always accelerating, always getting faster and can't slow down. Survive as long as you can. Speed is determined by the current zone. Okay, so yeah, I did I did very well. Prove your skill as a Scorpio pilot by beating the lead pilot's best time on Zephyr Ridge. All right, I'll do like one more of these. I don't know if there's much more to show off. There's, I guess uh, there's a lot of tracks that I could show off. This is a this is a car or ship I've never driven with. It looks like half of a Kit Kat bar. <laughs> uh, lovingly, you know, I, I say this with love. Um, yeah, I, I really. Oh, uh, yeah, actually, that last uh, mission really made me a bit more confident with the. Um, oh, I wanted the pit. I wanted the pit. No. Made me more confident with the drifting. Final lap. All right, we'll just have to be careful. I like this track though. I'm, I'm pretty confident on it. I don't know how close I am to gold medal. 14 seconds left. Try. I tried to pitch up there. I guess I didn't pitch up enough. Five seconds left. Two seconds left. Okay, so there's a platinum. Uh, we're not getting gold. We got silver. Silver medal awarded. All right, let's try one more time on that one. Um, you'll need to use the afterburner to take the platinum time. I thought I was. Well, I was using the afterburner, but I guess I just wasn't making the turns good enough.
So maybe what you need to do is like I, I find that one of the reasons I stayed away from the drift is because um, You do lose a little bit of momentum on it Uh, I was doing so well there should have trusted my instincts and just oh Okay, we're gonna get some energy back Final lap. Definitely making that pit's gonna help because that gives more energy to play with for the afterburner I should stop playing with the drift because that's getting me into trouble Learn use the method you're good with you know I have to figure out how to how pitching works We might actually make platinum three two one. Oh Just barely missed platinum, but we got gold. I'll take it um, Perfect now the second lap was actually perfect apparently All right, this is ballistic ng. I really like this game like really like it. It's Seriously, it's one of my favorite recent discoveries. It's super affordable. It's got a lot of track uh, Let me let me just have a look Custom race. I want to maybe go through some of the tracks just to show off how many there are um, Okay, next yeah, so we have standard and reverse and then we have model B which I haven't even looked at these these, there's a ton of these kind of tracks um, Then we got Model C haven't looked at these either um, I'm I don't think I recognize some of these pictures on the, the location screenshot. Uh, I love the variety expert The the variety on the tracks are, are actually really good. You have like stuff that looks like kind of futurist nightmare um, you know, and then you have like things like, you know, dry little beach scenarios like that last one where like you're just kind of roaming through the forest kind of thing like the uh, Variety is actually great. Oh, yeah, and then you have these small vehicles. There's there's also small vehicles. Hold on. Let me show this off real quick um, Custom race single player Let me see if I can change I guess we'll do that. We do the track first what is this? What is this nightmare? Oh my god. All right, um, so then we can do Small vehicles, so then you get things that, I guess this is the, the uh, jet moto Influence so you actually have like a little person inside uh, I love these uh, I don't know it doesn't seem to give you it but this one like seriously drives like a silver bullet um, And then this one here I, I was able to play with it in the multiplayer is a, a genuinely a forklift so you're just driving a forklift around, which is a lot of fun. So then these, yeah. So I, anyway, I can't recommend this game enough. There's a there's a lot of content here. It works great in multiplayer. Um, the campaign mode seems really engaging so far. Like I'm, I'm actually having a great time with it. Uh, there is DLC. I'm actually, I think I'll definitely pick up the DLC, honestly. Um, let me just have a quick look at what the DLC has. See if I can recommend that. Uh, I think they include tracks and ships Makio Makeno Island Makeno Island uh, is more tracks. I think Is it does it include some more uh, the tracks added in this DLC are not part of the base game Wait ballistic ng DLC is DRM free once the files are downloaded you don't need steam running to play the con Okay, I mean that's fine uh, outer reaches. Okay, so that's just a track. I was wondering if there's more like vehicles Tracks, okay, that's just more tracks, but then there's like ballistic ng the bling pack. What does this do? Um, Four new uh, livery sets. I don't never know if it's livery or livery uh, Added to the game standard ship roster so you can you you have more like Nice looking skins for your ships. You, do, you can unlock skins and stuff and I think they are uh, there's like bragging rights there But anyway, I can't recommend this game enough. It's so good I it's like it seriously is like I think like very instantly one of my favorite racers that I've discovered in recent memory 
um it exactly captures that you know feeling of the ps1 wipeout era that i enjoyed and was very bad at but enjoyed um and i think it's uh it's even like it's, it's better it carries the torch in in a in a beautiful way so i'm very happy with this discovery ballistic ng let me know what you think of it in the comments and let me know if you enjoyed this video if you did hit the like button consider subscribing i'll see you guys next time take it easy